Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Pam with RPPC Inc. and today we're going to be looking at QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions, the accountant version 19.0. I want to spend just a few minutes going over users. So I'm going to highlight company, select users, set up users and roles, select role list, and here you can be able to see. So let's just take accounts payable, select edit. Here are the various roles and activities. Here's a brief description. If I click on the little plus sign, and you can see if it's highlighted, that means there is access. If there's no dot, that means there's not. So for example, in this particular one, under accounting, they do not have access. Under banking, they have access to credit card charges. And here you can see that it's full. Now you can adjust it. You know, if I want partial and say I want them to be able to create, but not modify or delete. So again, just simply check mark the ones that you want. On the credit card register, again, they have full. You'll notice if I click like, for example, on deposits, they have none. So you can tell by the colored in dot to the left of the option. So under centers, I'm gonna click the plus sign. For example, under customer center, they're going to have partial that they can view the customer list. They can't create, modify, or do anything else but view. Again, if I select that I wanted to be able to create, I just put a check mark there and it gives it that option. As I continue to scroll down and I can click the plus to give it, open up the options. And as you go through this, it's all customizable. Again, this is one of the top reasons why people will go to QuickBooks Enterprise over the traditional QuickBooks Pro Premier, because they want that ability to have granular options to pick and choose what the employees that are accessing QuickBooks, what they have uh, capabilities of seeing. I always recommend to my team and to my customers, create the user, set them up how you think you want them set up, and then go in and log in as them. Try to do things you don't want them to have access to and make sure that you're comfortable with the settings you have created. Now, again, this is just looking at one of those predefined roles in QuickBooks Enterprise. I'm going to select OK, but let's say you want to create a new one. So I can just simply create new or I can start with any one of these and select to duplicate it and then customize it from there. Completely your option. So let's say, for example, I'm going to do inventory. I want to duplicate it, and I'm going to give this to Pam. And therefore, I'm going to assign the role of Pam to Pam. So if you work in a smaller environment and you really want to customize it by user, this is one of those options. So again, as I click the plus signs to the left, I can be able to see what's currently designated for that. If I want them to be able to have other options, I just simply go in and I customize. So banking, maybe I want her to have full access. I can be able to designate that. But let's say, for example, as I scroll down on the reports, I want her to have partial access. I want her to be able to view and print but not modify or delete. So again, you can see that there's a lot of very specific options here, and it really just depends on your particular need, what you want this person to be able to do. Once you are happy with it, then you select OK, and now you can be able to see that I have Pam listed here in the role list. Now, if I create a user and select New, and I'm going to have Pam. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to select Pam from the roles and select Add. And it's saying, hey, you know, you gave this person some options. Are you make sure you're OK? And I could click Continue, select OK. 
and now Pam is set up. Typically in this environment, you're going to go ahead and give them a password, and then when they log in for the first time, they'll change it. Never give your employees admin rights. Always as the owner, as the main manager, you should keep that admin. So that way, if you need to make adjustments, you can be able to do that. I hope this was informational for you. If you have questions about how to set up users and roles in QuickBooks Enterprise, please feel free to reach out to me. Also make sure you join our subscriber channel so that way as we continue to do these great how-to videos, you'll get a heads up that they are now available for you. Thank you and if you have any questions, please email me.